Just click and we are ready to go. A little bit of honey or maple syrup, sweet or savoury. Hello, I'm so excited to see you all here again today. I am Tong Mei. Today, we'll be making something fun, the buttermilk waffle. And we are going to use the Cornell 3-in-1 Snack Maker. This snack maker comes in three different plates. The waffle plate, the mini donut plate and also the sandwich plate. They are non-stick aluminium coating. Firstly, we have to heat up the maker first before we move on to the ingredients. Today, we will be using the waffles plate. It's really easy to fit it in. Just click and we are ready to go. Let's move on to our ingredients today. We have our wet ingredients which is buttermilk, oil, milk, egg yolk and vanilla essence. Then the dry ingredients, all-purpose flour, corn flour, salt, baking soda and baking powder. And lastly, we have the egg white and sugar. Let us begin by blending the wet ingredients together using the Cornell Blue Bay Series Blender. This jug has a safety lock and it comes with a meal attachment. Let's start with the wet ingredients. Buttermilk, the oil, the milk, egg yolk, vanilla essence. Close it and lock it. Okay, give it a pulse. A few pulses will do, just to get it all together. This is done. Let's sieve the dry ingredients together. Now, we will sieve the dry ingredients. All-purpose flour, corn flour, salt, baking soda, and baking powder. Okay. Sieve it. Sifting the flour together actually helps to mix the different types of flour better before adding it into the mixture. Sifting also removes the clumps from the flour. Now, let's pour the wet ingredients out into a bowl. Next, add in the flour. Fold it in gently. It's okay if the batter is a little bit clumpy. We can proceed with whisking the egg whites, okay? Okay, let's set this aside. Now we will whisk the egg white. I will be using the Cornell Blue Bay Series Hand Blender. It comes with three attachments. The chopper, the blender and also the whisk. So I'll be using the whisk. We start from the low speed. When it starts to form a soft peak, we can add the sugar gradually. Add half first. Then we can continue adding the rest. The rest of the sugar. Let's check. Looks pretty good. And now, we are ready to fold this egg white into our batter. Take about one third of the portion in a gentle motion. Scoop and cut in the middle so that we incorporate the egg whites gently. Continue adding the rest of the egg whites. Waffles are really versatile, you know. You can actually eat it sweet or savoury. So today, we are going to show you both. Okay, just a few more gentle fold and we are ready for the waffle machine. Right before this, I'm going to use the Cornell Blue Bay Series Air Fryer 
to air fry my beef bacon. It's already ate in the tray and now we are going to air fry it for approximately 5 minutes at about 180 degrees. Wow, that is doing its magic in the air fryer. We are going to move on to our waffle maker. Our Cornell Blue Bay Series 3-in-1 snack maker has already been preheated and I have put in the waffle plates. We give it a little oil spray on the, on the, on the plates. Then we can start scooping the batter in. Let's close and lock it and wait for it. Okay, our buttermilk waffle is done. Let's take a look. Wow, it's light brown, crispy and ready for our plates and tummy. And we have our beef bacon in the air fryer. Ready to be served. Let's add some cheese, shredded cheese on top. Deco sugar. And lastly, drizzle a little bit of honey or maple syrup on our sweet side of the buttermilk waffle. There you have it. Sweet or savoury, up to your preference. There you have it. This is my buttermilk waffle, suitable for somebody who has a sweet tooth or somebody who prefers their waffles savoury-wise. I completed this buttermilk waffle by using the Cornell Blue Bay Series 3-in-1 snack maker that has three different plates. The waffle plates, the mini donut plates and the sandwich plates and also by using the Cornell Blue Bay Series Blender. I hope you enjoy my recipe today. See you again soon. Goodbye!